Okay, what is Friedrich's ataxia? Friedrich's ataxia is a hereditary neuromuscular disease that is caused by a defective gene that can be passed down through a family. See. And what are some of the common symptoms associated with Friedrich's ataxia? Well, commonly, um, some of the initial symptoms are shaking and trembling, muscle weakness, and of course, ataxia, which is a loss of balance and coordination. Medically speaking, Friedrich's ataxia mostly affects the spinal cord and the peripheral nerves. Oh. Now, for those of us who don't know, what are peripheral nerves? The peripheral nerves are those that control muscle movement in the arms and legs via the nervous system. And every of a movement problems develop and they worsen over time. What are some other symptoms? Some, some other symptoms include a gradual loss of strength and sensation in the arms and legs Muscle stiffness or specificity. Um, impaired speech, impaired vision, hearing loss, and scoliosis. And what if the scoliosis is severe? If severe enough, um, it may impair the breathing, which usually would require a surgery to straighten the spine. I see. Well, I see you're in a wheelchair. Is that common for ataxians? Yes. Um, food rates, ataxia requires the use of a wheelchair about t 10 years after size and symptoms appear. And uh, when did you begin using a wheelchair? I began using a wheelchair full time around 29. Like I said, um, if a I'm sorry, free drinks is exit. Uh, symptoms gradually worsen and so they spread from the legs and arms and trunk. Are there any obvious signs besides the wheelchair that I can be aware of in someone with the taxia? Yes, gait abnormalities, um, such as stumbling, swaying, head bubbling, foot changes such as flexion, or voluntary bending of the toes, hammer toes, foot inversion, Returning in and easy egg rolling. Those all could be obvious signs. Well, thank you for all that information. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.